The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I am on sea dews GTX Limited 300. This is providing the ultimate in comfort, luxury, and performance. Let's take a look. The GTX Limited 300 is sea dews grand touring model with extra performance. It's designed for the customer wanting the best of the best, but doesn't need to be flaunting it with a look at me machine. For that reason, her look is more refined, more classy. Her angular geometry has a lot to do with that. To begin with, anytime time Sea-Doo uses the term limited, it means the model comes with an accessory package. In this case, we're talking a watercraft cover, a dry bag, a safety kit, speed ties at the side and rear, a glove box organizer, depth finder, water temp gauge, and high performance VTS, which we'll discuss shortly. Comfort plays a big part of what Sea-Doo does. There's a full-time staff member with a doctorate in ergonomics, and his job is to meld man and machine into one unit. Sea-Doo calls the result ErgoLock, and it starts with a narrow padded area just ahead of the seat. This allows the rider to lock the knees and use the strongest muscles of the body to grab on. This is further aided by the contoured footwell. This creates two triangles where there are more contact points that serve to keep the rider and machine working in harmony, and it's noticeable. Whether standing or sitting, the handlebars are fully adjustable, and notice how the gauge cluster moves with it as we adjust. The seat takes in the ErgoLock in addition to its step design. With it elevating as we move aft, the rear passengers can more easily see over the shoulders of the person in front of them. It's softly padded and remarkably comfortable, as we would expect from the flagship model. For the passengers, there's a handrail surrounding the back and a strap at the center. Rubberized non-skid is in the footwells, of course. Now let's move to technology. The engine is accessed from under the seat and it's the latest generation 300 horsepower 1630 ACE Rotax engine, which Sidu says is the most modern power plant in the industry. Moving to the handlebars, on the left side we have the lion's share of features. It begins with the red start stop button, then the variable trim system or VTS. Incremental adjustments with this up and down rocker adjust the trim of the jet outlet and therefore the trim of the GTX great for when others are on board. Next is the sport mode button. The GTX starts automatically in the touring mode with fairly docile handling characteristics. Press sport to unleash the full power and responsiveness of the 300 horses under the seat. Press again to return to the touring mode. Below is the eco mode. This will put the GTX in the best cruise speed for getting the best fuel economy. Great when fuel and endurance are in question. The palm grips have this hand rest area and that is remarkably comfortable, particularly over long runs. And just ahead is the IBR lever. The second generation IBR or Intelligent Brake and Reverse allows for neutral starting which is particularly convenient when starting at a dock. It also allows for reversing off the beach or simply maneuvering around as needed. And just look at how easy it is to dock. but its best aspect is for stopping the GTX. At speed, squeeze the trigger and the GTX will stop in the shortest distance while still allowing the operator to maintain control and without launching anyone over the handlebars. This is a great feature and a welcome one. To the right side is the cruise control. Activate it and squeeze the trigger fully to hold the cruise speed without having to hold the trigger at a set position. These next two rockers are all about working with the display. Select the mode, change it with the up-down rocker, and set when done. Then there's the same palm grip, and just ahead is the spring-loaded throttle trigger. In the center is the display we talked about. It provides various information on the vehicle and the ride. As for additional features, take a look at this front storage. Under the front visor is a latched compartment, gasketed for watertight integrity. Even better, it's removable, making it easier to keep your valuables close when stepping away from the GTX or load it at home and bring it aboard. All builders are including mirrors, but not all make them adjustable. There's a non-skid platform to the rear, and behind that is a deep reboarding step. And just above is a tow eye for bringing water sports to the game. So let's get it on the water and see how it handles. The first thing we took away from our test is that this baby is comfort on a whole new level. Everything about it speaks of comfort and nothing we could put it through took away from that. The moment I settled into the seat, I knew that this was something different. It's all about luxury. But let's not forget that there are 300 horses at your disposal, so she's also quick to reach her top legal speed and be held there by agreement with the Coast Guard. 
With her good looks, that acceleration can be deceiving, so if you're the type to wander over to the bow rider and bet lunch on who gets to the restaurant first, this is the machine to do that with. No one would guess it's as responsive as it is. And while it doesn't have a racing hull, that doesn't mean that it's not capable of holding her own in a buoy race or while doing some performance maneuvers. It's every bit capable, so press that sport button and let the fur fly. The GTX Limited 300 has everything that Sea-Doo makes. Basically, it's loaded as loaded comes. It's certainly got exciting handling, but nothing will compare to the level of comfort we experienced when we climbed aboard. The ride, it's just frosting on the cake. Well, Sea-Doo is after comfort, luxury, and performance with the GTX Limited 300, and in my opinion, they achieved all three. And that is my full look. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.